Okay, so sending data to Zapier, I have a simple automation here that's going to LinkedIn and clicking on the contact info and scraping that person's email. So what I want to do is, is I want to make all of this send to some webhook, which is how Zapier is going to get the information. So on Zapier's side, if I click, there's this new editor. Uh, if you guys have the old version, the old version still, I'll just go through the old version. Um, we'll do webhooks. Enter webhooks as your trigger. And then catch hook is going to be the best option there. Continue. Add payload here. It's not absolutely required. So if you don't see this option on another service, it's completely okay. Everything is still going to work. Um, it'll be a little bit different, but it'll be very obvious what's happening there. So that's all the setup we need. Enter payload. Totally fine if not. Continue. And then we want this URL. So on the task magic side, what I did here is just click send to webhook. Let me drag this up a little bit. Enter the webhook here. And then all that's left is adding some data. So I'll click the plus icon. And then my step number seven is scraping the email in my automation. So I can title this with whatever, although I would suggest like a single word or if it's two words, you're going to want to just put them together. Avoid spaces, hyphens, things like that. Um, so I'll just do email for now and then I'll click save. And when I run this automation, after it finishes running, it's going to send that data here. And then we can test or whatever we want to do with that data. We can use it in other automations that are done on Zapier, um, save the data somewhere else that's not Google Sheet, whatever you want to do, just allowing you to connect to another source. So I'm going to run this automation really quick and then we'll come back to Zapier's side to finish up. Okay, so automation just finished running. We can see the data that was found during the automation here. Uh, that doesn't matter as much. If we go to Zapier's side, I can click test trigger. And this is going to pull in the most recent data that was sent. So we can see that that matches up with the email that was sent. So all we'll do is click continue. And then we can use this as a variable in whatever other step um, on Zapier as normal as any other trigger works.